Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again as your 7th ranked Florida Gators take on the 6th ranked Oklahoma Sooners in your 2020 Goodyear 85th edition Cotton Bowl Classic Game Highlight Commentary. Opening possession sooner or later, they're going to find themselves inside Gator territory. Very next play, Ramondre Stevenson gets the handoff. He's got the sideline and he's going to carry it for a 16-yard gain, activating his dread lock powers. Two plays later, Spencer Rattler takes the snap, looking towards the end zone. Looks like Florida's defense forgot to Shut up, Mimsy! Touchdown Marvin Mims. Oklahoma strikes blood first. Ensuing drive, here comes the Heisman candidate. Kyle Trask got a man. Yoink. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by Trey Norwood, headed to McDonald's. Can I get a McPick 6? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Florida playing like shit. 14-0! Yeah, let's go, guys. Woo! Boomer Sooner, baby. How'd that African-American get in here? Well, I heard they said one Negro per section. That makes sense. All right. Hey, Kyle, it's still early in the game. You threw an interception. No way you can throw another one, right? Ensuing drive. Kyle's going to waste little time proving that he should have won the Heisman as he's already got his Florida Gators inside Oklahoma Sooner territory. Then two plays later, takes the snap on second and five. Looking down the field. Got a man. <laughs> But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by Oklahoma again after the football was ricocheted. You son of a bitch. Why? Tell me why. Uh. Damn, Kyle. That's two interceptions already. But hey, no way you're going to throw another one, right? Very next play from scrimmage. handoff to Ramondre Stevenson. He's going to activate his dreadlock powers. And you might as well throw this gator on the grill. These motherfuckers getting cooked. That set up a 43-yard field goal. It's kicked through the uprights. Three-possession game. The lead is 17. Time for a little bit of affirmative action. There's a change at quarterback. Insert Emory Jones. They sent in a Negro in relief, and he's already got the Gators inside Sooners territory. But the colonizer would re-enter the game. But Kyle Trash would showcase why he was a Heisman finalist, and he's finally wiggled off that spirit of mediocrity. He's found his rhythm. He's got his man inside the 15 and then at the 10 yard line he'd look into the end zone Give me that. we don't care pass intercepted for the third time you mean to tell me i spent the entirety of my 600 stimulus check to drive down to dr miami and get a penis enlargement then proceed to take three pills of viagra and cialis tell my old lady to meet me at the hampton inn at the conclusion of the cotton bowl classic because florida's gonna wipe the floor with oklahoma and i'm sitting here in the stands with a hard dick and nothing to be excited about fuck you you, Kyle Trask. Kyle Trask! It's barely been eight minutes, and you done turned the football over three times, you goddamn bum! You're supposed to be a Heisman finalist! How the hell you turned the football over three times already? Get off the field! Put your motherfucking head back down! All things going to Sooner's way. They can't do anything wrong. Spencer Rattler would take a bite of beep, 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 beep. Butterfingers fumbles on the play after being hit from behind. It's recovered by the Gators. This is exactly what they needed. That lead to an Evan McPherson 21-yard field goal kicks it through the uprights. The Gators are finally on the board. Ensuing drive. Here comes Rattler once again. We for you, Help! Police! Help! Police! The Gators would once again dial up 1-800-NEGRO relief as Emory Jones would enter the game and they're inside Sooners territory once again. And who on earth exists with dreadlocks that can't run? You know his legs work. And that Gators offense is not only doing fine, they're doing Rick Wells as he carries it inside the 5 to the 1. Now in the period colored zone, time to activate your dreadlock powers. Emory Jones goes in for the score. The Gators cut their deficit to 7. You took my girl and... And he took my job. He took his job. He took his girl. The kid died. All momentum going Florida's way. And here come the dreadlock powers. Butterfingers. That is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. I cannot believe the dreadlock powers failed. It's Gator football. Two out of the last three possessions. Oklahoma's giving their balls away like the neighborhood whore. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's my turn. In God's name. Can that human being be from this planet? How many? Does he have no conscience? Does he have no heart? Do you have no soul? You son of a bitch! Do you realize what you just done? No good, lousy, son.
son of a hey, bitch. Hey, That's he, exactly what he is. But he's a no good bastard for what he did, and he ought to burn in hell for it. And that set up Evan McPherson once again from 35 yards out. He'd kick it through the uprights. It's a four-point game in the Cotton Bowl. Well, what do you know? My appendage has penetrated my zippers. It appears that I'm much more excited than I thought I would be. Now, if we could keep this momentum by halftime, I may have to make a stop by the Holiday Inn inside her coochie. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Get in here, coach. Get in here. How about them gators? How about them gators? Yeah! Nobody in the student section's wearing a mask. No problem. Get the gun ready. We're going to fucking shoot all of them. So who gets credit for this comeback? Is it me or you? Well, you threw three interceptions. Well, you didn't do much. The defense got two turnovers. At least I scored a touchdown. You scored a TD for the other team. Right. About that. All momentum going Florida's way after scoring 13 unanswered. But here comes Seth McGowan. He's going to carry it inside Gators territory. Third and four for Spencer Radler. Takes the snap. Looking over the middle. He's got Theo Wees. And he's going to weave his way through the Gator defense into the end zone. Touchdown Sooners. Okay, Boomer. And it appears Kyle Trask is back in the game. Ain't this some shit? Man, that's some racist shit right there. And here come the Gators looking to respond as Nate. Quan Wright gets the handoff. He carries it into Sooner territory. And that set up Evan McPherson from 58 yards out to make it an eight-point game in his kick. Short. Like Danny DeVito, it came up short. Ensuing drive, Spencer Radler takes the snap. Looking over the middle, he's got Trey John Golden's Gate Bridges inside Gator territory. And then a few plays later, Radler would do it himself. With under a minute left to play in the half, he's going to carry it for a first down. Now in the period colored zone, he'd refuse to stop dialing up voicemail and calling his own number goes into the end zone 18 point lead for the Sooners we went from down by 17 to only down by four now we're down by 18 my erection thinks we're winning by 36 I took out a loan to pay for these tickets and pay for the hotel why the hell did I even come here if we were gonna play like shit well son if your wife is gonna get fucked tonight it might as well be by a winner let me look up her hotel room right now luckily I brought some Viagra with me sooner or later she gonna get fucked by another boomer. Let me call up my friends at the nursing home and see if she want to turn this night of love into a hootin' in it. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Of all the great quarterbacks to ever come out of Florida, Kyle Trask damn near broke every single record. And he's starting out the second half on the goddamn bench. Because this man want to give away more footballs in an NFL charity event. Here comes the most Emory Jones. Dumps it off to Naquan Wright. We have you surrounded. Think fast. Ensuing drive hand off to Seth McGowan. Off to the races. No Gators in sight. But this man's slower than internet connection on Windows 98. Get over Stupid bitch. If that's supposed to be your breakaway speed, you ain't never going to make it to the league. Personal foul, horse collar tackle on the defense. Now, why am I And you could have did you it. See, I get wrong. You never it. That nigga is guilty! Hand off to Ramondre Stevenson. Florida don't know how to stay outside. He'd activate his dreadlock powers. Go into the end zone for the Oklahoma game! <laughs> Hold in on the offense, fat motherfucker. Then let go of the defender. Repeat second down. Now, why am I here? And you could have did it. See, I get it wrong. You never apologize. This fat son of a bitch is going to call us all out. He's going to calm down, calm down. He's fat! I'll make him bleed. They'd be forced to settle for a 20-yard field goal. It's kicked through the uprights, and it's good. The lead is up to 21. Don't you ever grow dreads. You do not qualify with that speed for dreadlock powers. Maybe Emery Jones can make something happen. Third and six. I guess not. Think fast. Ensuing drive. This time, Ramondre Stevenson would showcase his dreadlock powers. Off to the races. Get over you got to be quicker than that. How the hell Oklahoma keep getting ran down? Clearly, Oklahoma does not have a El Chapo department for escapism, or Florida must be employed by the IRS, because nothing escapes them. Why are you running? Why are you running? A few plays later, hand off to Stevenson. This time, he'd make Florida look like fools. Give me your ankles. Unhand me, scoundrel. Get away, fat man. Goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Sooners. Yay. Woohoo. Go Sooners, baby. Damn, why they got that one Florida fan in the Oklahoma section? Ensuing drive, Florida inside Sooners territory. Emery is clearly upset. Talk my dick. First and goal. Here comes Jones. Why are you running? Why are you running? All cool, right, let's try this again. It's my turn. Where you going, little feather? <laughs> 
What the fuck did I do wrong? Tell me! Third time's the charm. Let's try a pass. Emery Jones over the middle. Stop short. Fourth down, you gotta go for it. Jones looking towards his right. Failure. Goal line stand for Oklahoma. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What the fuck are we gonna do now? Huh? I don't know! I am having a very bad day. Don't worry, I still have faith in Tim Tebow. He's gonna lead us to victory. Sir, this isn't 2008. It isn't? No. Oh boy, looks like we're fucked. It may no longer be 2008, but luckily I still have my Aaron Hernandez jersey. Thank God for that man. Such an upstanding citizen. He can never do anything wrong. I wonder what he's up to. Oh squad for the fucking killers, I'm a killer too! Following the goal line stand, third and four. The pass is dumped off to Seth McGowan, and it's time to showcase that breakaway speed. One blocker out in front. You know he's not getting any separation. Takes it into Florida territory. Two plays later, second and five. Spencer Rattler likes his egg scrambled. He'd said one gator back to the swamp and he's gonna carry it for a first down and take it all the way inside the 15. And it appears there may be some anal fissures from this necrophilia because the gators might be dead. But somehow they're still getting fucked as Charleston would Rambo his appendage straight up the gators butthole as he'd go into the end zone for another score. Ain't no bleeding. <laughs> Ain't no bleeding. We ain't they ass like. <laughs> Excuse me, nobody in the child section is wearing a mask. If the parents do not enforce the mask being worn, we will be forced to stone them. It's just a little boy. Fuck them kids following drive trailing by 35 maybe emory jones can make something happen i dropped it not today not today give him the gun i shoot the kids officer bob brady we need you to shoot these kids following drive handoff to marcus major and he's not done with the necrophilia disregards the entire florida gator defense and he goes into the end zone 55 13 florida's getting murdered out there put your mask on kill them all kill them all Kill Looks like it's all over, man. It's your team now. You ain't have to tell me that. After this three interception performance, everybody happy it's my team now. You worry about going to the league and trying not to be trash, trash. The game already out of reach, and here comes Anthony Richardson, the third quarterback to take a snap for Florida. And he's going to use his legs, carry it inside Sooner territory, tackled inside the 30. I know this man is not singling first down, down by 42 points. What are you doing, stupid? And then he'd continue to gloat, because on the very next play, he'd look towards the end zone. He's got Jordan Pouncey for the score. Florida cuts their deficit to 35 points. Nobody cares. Did this help them come back and win? Absolutely not. Take the L out of lover. This game's over, brother. Oklahoma destroys the Florida Gators 55 to 20. God damn, they almost crushed their coach. What's wrong with them? Congratulations, coach. Thank you. But make sure you get to the proctologist and make sure your rectal cavity is okay. What are you talking about? Because clearly you must be suffering from anal bleeding. What? Wow. Another congratulations for your 2020 85th edition of the Cotton Bowl Classic champion, Oklahoma Sooners. But for the Florida Gators, they'd be sent to Elimination Station, and they'd be forced to take out their Metro cards and uh, get aboard the L Train. Come true! Just...